I know a lot of people are heavy NBA fans and we're awaiting the NBA draft while also watching March Madness and the pool of players that are going to be available because of a stupid ass rule called the one and done. Another topic for another day. So Trey Young listed at six foot two, he's way shorter than six foot two. He's also skinny as hell. Man, I know skinny. So <laughs> Trey Young via YouTube, here's what have popped up all throughout. Every single video was him being compared to Steph Curry, as you're gonna see right here. It was all, oh, well, here we go. We can actually show the highlights first. High so, school? Okay. This is high school. Here's what he was doing in high school. There's a lot of, uh, we all know about the potential. We know about the range. We know how good he is. We know how he could shoot off the dribble. We know how he could create his own shot. I mean, he's money. So as you're watching this, Jay, what are you thinking? Um. As far as if his viability in the NBA, yeah. So he's in, he's right now. He's I'm sorry, I don't. He's call a freshman it. in Oklahoma. Mm. This is high school. And they just got out got out of. Uh, they're gone. They're gone. Oh, they're gone. <laughs> they're oh that's right. No, this is the kid yeah. of Iceman. That's right. Now okay. I recognize him. I mean, it's the same thing. I mean, you, you see the you see the prospect. I mean, look. I wish we could compare it to Steph Curry in college. Well, that's my point. Yeah. If we could, if we could show these some of the top videos on YouTube, we're just all. Is Trey Young the next Stephen Curry? Because Steph Curry in, at Davidson, that jersey fit kind of loose. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> and so it was like, who's this kid and what, what does he think he's doing? So it's the thing is, it's it's possible. And I always always like seeing, uh, mm -hmm. I always imagine the job as a as a, a, a scout this has to be really fun. I would love to right. scout players if I knew enough to scout Because you're scouting players. off a potential. You, and I love that. And then be, to be right about that, so you can, I'm only going off of these five highlights we've seen. But I mean, I like giving folks a chance and see what they could do and stop saying he's Steph Curry, just say he's Trey Young and let him be that guy. Right. You know, because maybe he'll do well, something else that's great. We've talked about this so many times. What we do is we make comparisons based on size and a lot of times, hate to say it, color of skin. Like we've now done this with Lamar Jackson in the National Ooh. Football League. We do it all the time with, oh, well, he's tall and lengthy. Kevin Durant or the Giannis Antetokounmpo, the Porzingis being Dirk Nowitzki or the right. next tall European guy yes. is yeah. Dirk Nowitzki. One hundred percent. Here's what scouts are saying, and this is via Sports Illustrated. Nobody's worried about his skill level. You look around his team, and there's a lot of talent. He's not going to be guarded that way in the NBA. If it is, that means he's going to be scoring thirty points per. You'll take that up. Well, what I would say is the biggest concern to me is. This is his body not holding up. Another one says, I've got him right now as the 11th player in the draft. I mean, that is a wow. decline from what we saw earlier in the year. I was never high on him to begin with because of his physical limitations, lack of athleticism, and how he doesn't defend. Another scout would go on to say, uh, he's trending down. The problem I have with him, I understand there's the natural Steph Curry comparison. Standing next to Steph and standing next to Trey, he's significantly smaller. Stop for one second. Do sure. we not remember that Stephen Curry was a rail when he came right. into the league and he had to yeah. build himself up? If Trey Young, when he's being interviewed, has that same drive to put on the muscle, eat 5,000 calories a day and go in the gym three times, then yeah, he has the potential as high as the sky. The, the only difference between scouts or draft minks or whatever and regular fans is they just get paid. Right. I mean, we can all watch videos. You're saying an NBA scout? Anybody, not, not an NBA scout, but the draft guys. You know, the, the, like the pundits at the yeah, draft. Yeah, the pundits and stuff that say, oh, you can't do this, you can't do that, this is what I. It's just an opinion. They just get paid for their opinion. It's not no different than if you watch every single Oklahoma game this year and you said, you know, this is what I think of, you know, Trey Young. Um, I, I don't like the comparisons, like you said. Just let the kid be. But the one thing that's in his favor, that wouldn't have been in his favor 5, 10, 15 years ago, is look how the NBA is played. Great now. point. You know, they, it's, you can shoot from deep, you can find a spot. I mean, look at, I, I haven't well, seen- not the, necessarily. I, now, maybe this is like turning back the clock a little too yeah. far, but, and JR, hate to say it, owns this guy's jersey. But Jimmer Ferdette came out of BYU, <laughs> yeah, seriously, he owns his jersey. Uh, came out of BYU, mm. was a shooter. I thought he never really got the chance because they didn't let him create his own shot. Terrible yeah. defensively, but could keep you in the game offensively. Well, see, that's the difference between Trey Young. He, first off, he could pass. I always think if you could pass, you'll survive in the he NFL. Because that's why Lonzo is gonna be very good. He may not ever be a great shooter, <laughs> right. but if you could pass, you'll be okay. Because mm -hmm. teammates love people, <laughs> they, they like to shoot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I think the fact that he could pass and that he could shoot, and if you watched this game yesterday, even the one they lost, when his shot wasn't falling, he started going to the basket. 
He can do, he has dribble, he has some handles and stuff. He has a skill set. Now, does he turn out to be something or just a somebody? We just, we don't know. Right. So I, I feel, I don't feel bad because, you know, they're going to get a lot of money. Right. But I feel like, okay, it's all just opinion. And like you said, nobody can measure what's going on in here. What, like three point guards were taken before Steph Curry? Right. You know, you know yeah. it's the team. It's the coach. It's so many factors that are involved. I, I, the, the question is, I think it'd be a lottery pick. Yes, I think so too. I, I think it'd be a lottery pick. And then after that, I think a lot, like you said, depends on where he goes, the system, mm -hmm. how he's allowed to flourish. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think he has a, you know, none of these guys you just are not like can't miss. There's no LeBron. You know in what I'm saying? Draft? Yeah, in this draft. Except maybe the kid from Arizona. It's, it's TV, but, but he took know, himself out of the game yesterday. Yeah, that's true. Terrible. You just don't know. You just you just don't know. They could be bust. They can be superstars. It may take them four years. Right. I mean, Isaiah Thomas still playing. I mean, it just we'll get to that. Know, <laughs> it's it, I, I just don't. I don't like the draft. I didn't like stuff. I don't like stuff with Lamar Jackson and stuff like that because I think they're too. Not. I'm not saying you can't be harsh on them, mm -hmm. but you got to explain why. Oh, his body can't hold up. Well, a lot of 18 year old bodies are not <laughs> as as sexy as they could be, you know, when they're first coming out of uh, you know college. I mean, my 18 year old body wasn't that sexy, you know. I, obviously, I filled out a little bit now, nah. so I, I just think you know he will be fine. There's it's another fine. one that I can't stand: <laughs> NBA draft like vocabulary. Oh, sexy, sexy. Oh well, what did they I say? Never knew that was. I didn't know that. Oh, either. Either. Yeah. sexy motor, motor, is motor, good. Yeah. motor. Yeah. High energy. High energy? High energy is a good Girth. One. Girth is a good one, yeah. That's being range. used a lot. We talked about that yesterday. Range. But yeah, yeah, range. range you know, Denise, not, what do you think? Yeah. I think that these scouts were a little harsh. I don't like comparisons, but I think that sometimes you need to make a comparison just so more eyes could get attention mm -hmm. on on Trey Young and a player like Trey Young because he does he is a, a clutch player. He's a great a great player. He averages 28 points per game. He had like eight assists mm -hmm. in his last game. And though Oklahoma didn't take the win, he's pretty much the reason why they even made it. So yeah. he 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 has great handles. I feel like he has a lot of potential. And again, I do feel that at 18 coming into the league being a freshman yeah there's a lot of pressure and he's not going to meet up to the standards that a lot of these guys are setting him um up to be but he is definitely someone to consider and i feel like he can be a potential top five draft pick all right i, I saw this headline on espn and it was trey young's father is advising him to go back to college of course every parent no don't do that thank if, you if you can get if, well, I'm not saying if you want to go, let me uh, rephrase that. If you want to stay in college and, you know, deal with the college. Yeah, but you don't want to Roy Hibbert yeah. yourself. Yeah, that's true. That's what I'm saying. If you want to do it. I'm never going to knock a kid and say, hey, I want to stay and hang out in college. Do what you want to do. But if, you know, don't get pressured into going back if you can get assurances that your money, which is guaranteed right. in the NBA, which is the most important thing to remember. If you can, you know, you know you can be between, what, the first 11 picks or so. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you want to go. Go, it's better to learn in the pros than it is to learn in college. Yes, you know, and that's what Ben Simmons even told yeah, me uninterrupted. Yeah, yeah. so it, like I said, if he All wants to go training. back, if yeah. he wants to go back and he got ready, you know, some people not mentally ready for right. the, the NBA grind, then fine, go back, have a good time, do whatever. But uh, one thing I've learned about that the longer you stay in college, normally the worse your stock gets. Doesn't matter if you're Matt Leinart or Grayson Allen, it always seems yeah. to go backwards. It yeah. never seems to really go forward. Well, you'll relate to this. Yeah. A USC guy by the name of Taj Gibson, viewed as old when he went into the NBA <laughs> totally. because well, he, he came stayed. In, yeah, and also because he was a transfer, came in, did his last oh. couple of years at SC, and he just kind of looked like he had the old school even game. <laughs> it's again, it's perception <laughs> and reality. It all gets molded together. Uh, uh, one piggyback on your scout talk, Robert. When people are wrong, even GMs, and they pick wrong, or they, they always talk about who got passed up in this draft and drafts from 10 years ago, those guys who drafted wrong don't get fired. You know, it's not like right. you were wrong about that. Right. But when they're right, we're like, oh my God, he called right. this guy. Jeez. So, yeah, they're always right, but they're never wrong. So they continue to be able to have to, to recklessly talk about whatever they want and talk about how right they are, because we don't highlight when they're wrong. And lastly, I've always been a big fan of if you're a coach in a professional league, it's your job to develop that guy that you oh. drafted. So if it's a, it's like he's kind of frail, he needs some weight. Hey, there's this thing called a strength and conditioning coach. Oh. Um, there's these guys who teach you how to play in the NBA because they're supposed to have experience. And then so when you have a guy who sees all this potential, be like, I see the potential. That right. doesn't mean he's there. It means you have to get him there. That's your job. If you fail at that, you're part of the problem. Why can't we say, hey, the kid didn't make it? I think his strength and conditioning coach sucked at his job. 
I don't know. I mean, why, why isn't the blame going to other people that are part of the process? You failed right. to get this guy where he needed to be. Lots yeah. of Your factors, job. of course, that go into it. All right, let us know your thoughts. <laughs> YouTube.com slash TYT Sports.